A very important example I think every Christian needs to know about, the example of contraception. Before 1930, every Christian denomination taught that it was a sin, that it was an offense against God. 1930, the Anglican Church changed its teaching, began, began saying there's nothing wrong with it. And little by little, every other Christian denomination followed suit. And pretty much today, it's only the Catholic Church that continues to teach that not only is it a sin, artificial birth control, it's a grave sin. It's a serious offense against God, against life and love, the plan of God for marriage. 1968, people thought that the Catholic Church was going to change its teaching. They thought Pope Paul VI was finally going to be the one to bring the church out of the dark ages, get with the times. And they were all shocked when in Humanae Vitae, he continued the teaching of the church. And he made certain predictions. He said, if we accept contraception, what's going to happen? There's going to be a lowering of moral standards, especially in the area of sexual immorality. Check. He said there would be an increase in marital infidelity. Check. How many marriages destroyed because of infidelity, traceable to adult, adultery made so much easier by contraception, don't have to worry about getting pregnant. He said that there would be a loss of respect for women, that men would, quote, reduce her to being a mere instrument for the satisfaction of his own desires. Check. He said governments would coerce people into using contraception and intervene in citizens' sexual relationships. Check. We see that in China, China's one-child policy. We see that in policies of our own government at times saying to third world countries, we'll give you aid, we'll help you out if you accept programs of contraception and sterilization. He said that an acceptance of contraception would eventually lead to greater acceptance of abortion. And they called him crazy. They said, what does this old man know about sex? What does this old priest in Rome know about marriage? And it's all come true. How did he know? Because flesh and blood have not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Jesus Christ is keeping his promise to guide the church into all truth through the Holy Spirit. It's confirmed in history.